let us take a discussion further of uh, chapter one of to Darrow and Smith, and we'll talk about three things today. What are the three core values of development? What are the three objectives of development? And what are million, millennium uh, development goals? So the first thing is three core values of development. So what do you mean by these three core values of development? What should uh, development economics focus on? One, talking about, when you talk about development, the first thing which should come in mind is the sustenance. What do you mean by sustenance here? Is the growth in the economy is able to provide basic things, food, shelter, health, protection are these things given if these things are given then we will say that yes there is development development is able to provide sustenance right so that is a first core value of development note that economic development so i mean these things cannot be provided without economic development without growth so that is a necessary condition for development Right, but that's not a sufficient condition, right? Uh, so all of these are necessary conditions. So you don't say that just because you have provided food, you provided shelter, you provided health, that is a sufficient condition. No, it is not, because development is a very big term. It includes in itself various other things apart from just providing food, shelter, and health. But these are the necessary conditions. Don't just focus only on increasing income. That is not enough. Then you have self-esteem, the another core value of development. When you talk about self-esteem, it means a sense of worth, sense of self-respect. Right. So the work which you are doing, is it providing you the self-respect? Is it providing you some kind of worth? So that is there. So um but you know what? Most of us have started attaching the material achievements with development. Uh, so if we are attaching only material things to development, it means that uh, we can call only those societies as having developed in the real sense. Um, which have a lot of material things with them, right? They have a high self-respect for them. Just imagine, don't you think um, most of us, I mean, we think that uh, when you go abroad, by abroad, I mean you're going to US or Western countries. Uh, so it means that you have achieved. In a way, that's true. So many people think just going abroad is what you have achieved. Why? Because you have gone into the society which has a lot of material goods, material well-being. So just by going there, your self-respect will increase. This is what we have come to call development as. That may not be necessarily true, but that is what it is. This is an unfortunate thing, but that's true. And then development should also provide freedom from servitude. So when you talk about this, you mean human freedom, right? Freedom from social servitude to other people. You, you have to have freedom from working under someone. When I, when I say working under someone, doesn't mean that you are working in office under boss. That's true. But not like uh, a bonded labor. Not like um, uh, child labor. right? So that is not development. Uh, that is what we are talking about. So freedom from social servitude to other people. Freedom from misery, freedom from oppressive institutions. So today in India, in case it will start doing moral policing. Uh, so that is going to be wrong. Right? Dogmatic beliefs. So these things are wrong. So that is freedom from these things. That is development. Or freedom also involves expanded set of choices. So freedom doesn't only mean uh, freedom from uh, problems, but freedom also means freedom in choosing many, choosing out of many things. Uh, do you have a choice of freedom? Uh, sorry, do you have a choice of doing 
the work which you want to do do you have a choice of living anywhere in the country do you have a choice of having your own religious belief do you have a choice of so being with someone you love so all of these would encompass freedom right so development would mean freedom freedom would mean expanded set of choices right and these core values of freedom of development when you convert them into uh, the objectives what you get is what are the three objectives of development so what are the different objectives of development uh, one development should be able to increase the availability and the distribution of basic life sustaining goals goods right uh, so food shelter health jo humne kaha sustenance uh, it should be able to provide that second to raise the levels of living so people should have better jobs better education greater attention to cultural and human values all that right to expand the range of economic and social choices so do you have a choice in going uh, for the employment which you really want right uh, so uh, that is what it is so these are the three objectives of development so what are the different millennium millennium development goals millennium development goals so in september 2000 uh, 189 member countries of the un, un uh, of uh, the united nations they adopted eight millennium development goals they said this okay fine all of us should work towards achieving these goals by 2015 15 years uh, they acknowledge this that uh, you whether you look at poverty alleviation or you look at development this is a multi dimensional approach it would require that uh, so don't just imagine increasing income is enough so there are other things which are attached to the development and we have all of us together all nations together should contribute towards that right and it has provided a unified focus in the development community because these things after these goals were set out they became the part of the international community they also became the part of the national community so are the national policies geared up towards uh, towards uh, achieving these goals so what are these basic eight goals one eradicate extreme poverty extreme poverty should be eradicated gender inequality gender equality should be promoted women should be empowered they should be universal primary education everyone should have uh, education till 14 years of their age child mortality should be reduced um, maternal health should be improved combat hiv aids that is halt its progress and and uh, start reducing it uh, malaria and other diseases which are those diseases which can be avoided ensure environmental sustainability develop global partnership for development so these are the different goals right so in the book they have discussed about these goals also you can just read about that but these uh, uh, millennium uh, development goals they were also not free from criticism they said this that the targets are not ambitious enough so what you have done is that whatever were the rates around 2000 growth rates you have just extrapolated that to 2015 right this is this is not highly ambitious enough then they said this uh, uh, the goals were not properly prioritized yeah so if you achieve poverty first then what else has to be done this should be written down in the goals the setting of 2015 as an end date of the target so they say this that supposedly by 2014 2015 if you are not able to achieve the goals then will you not give the enough financial assistance to achieve it later so this instead of acting as an incentive this might act as a, as a disincentive a uh, setting of the end goal then lack of goals on reducing rich country agricultural subsidy acha you tell me one thing they said this that why haven't you uh, talked about the problems uh, which the developing countries are also facing due to rich countries for example rich countries they are providing agricultural subsidies which are harming least developed countries and the developing countries yeah. they are uh, uh, global warming is happening particularly because of the developed countries 
but uh, what kind of uh, you have not included that as as uh, the other goal but you know what these are the basic eight goals not everything could be listed out you know? but these are the some criticisms also so i think i have finished up chapter one you have to read the chapter carefully and append these notes so don't just think that these are the only things which you have to study you will have to read the chapter and write more for all of them at least write one one line for them right so i hope it was useful to you thank you good all.